These Colombian naval infantry are making their preparations for a river patrol up a tributary to the Amazon, and this is a British-made hovercraft that's been shipped from Southampton, one of several that the Colombian Navy had taken delivery of. Como es por conducir este, este hovercraft? I spoke to one of the new pilots and asked him how many troops they can carry and what it's like to drive one on these jungle rivers. Eh, la velocidad máxima que maneja la nave... The maximum speed is 35 knots. It can carry six crew members and eight combat troops. It's very exciting sailing this, because the hull lifts above the surface. You can go at an incredible speed over grass, sandbanks and shallow water. They took me out on the river so I could see them put it through its paces. And then we joined them for night maneuvers. This is part of a training exercise. And they're hoping that it's going to give them the edge in their fight against drug traffickers and FARC insurgents. This is because in the dry season, hovercraft can go where speedboats can't. So the Navy is hoping they'll soon be able to cut off the insurgent supply lines from neighboring Ecuador. Three months ago, Lieutenant De Palma and the other pilots had never seen a hovercraft in their lives, nor had anyone else here. When we are going up the river, we see people watching us. When we stop on a sandbank and deflate, the people are astonished because it is something new. They have never seen anything like it. So does the pilot have a nickname for his craft? Does he think of it as a he or a she? For me, it's my girl. My girl is called Carolina. I have to take care of her very well because she's my new toy. Frank Gardner, BBC News, in the Colombian Amazon.